Hi, good morning to all. Today I am going to uh, take the topic about spe special electrical machines. So we all know about uh, the normal electrical machines uh, such as DC motor in that DC shunt and series type and also about the induction motors and all other synchronous machines. So these motors are nothing but the conventional machines which were invented in the earlier days. Now the topic about special electrical machines evolves or it is about the machines such as stepper motors, permanent magnet synchronous motors, and permanent magnet brushless DC motors. So these special electrical machines are nowadays used in our day to day life in all the applications such as industrial uh, uses as well as in a day to day life such as uh, in fans. In, uh, in uh, for example your uh, uh, mixer grinders, mixes etc. So why they are being used nowadays? What are the advantages or what are the unique features of these machines are nothing but it is going to uh, tell you about the special machine. In the normal conventional DC machines such as DC motors, we have stator and rotor. So this stator and rotor are nothing but the stationary part which is nothing but your it is it will be having stator slots which accommodate stator windings and rotor which is going to have your rotor windings. Normally DC motors, conventional motors they have electromagnets for your uh, uh, construction of the magnetic field. So what happens in the electromagnets? In the electromagnets we have field core and then we have field winding so that for creation of magnetic field we have to exact the machine. In the case of your uh, uh, other special machines these things are being replaced by solid state devices and other power controlling uh, switches. For example, if you take the PMBL DC motors. So this is one of the special machine which is used nowadays in all applications. So what is the speciality or the unique feature of this PMBL DC motors? So it is nothing but your brushless DC motors. Why it is called as brushless DC motors? We are, no, we are going to replace the commutator, mechanical commutator assembly with the help of your electronic commutator assembly. So what is this mechanical commutator in any DC machine, okay, if it is a DC motor or if it is a DC generator, the conversion of alternating quantity or alternating voltage or current into unidirectional voltage or current is inevitable. So because it is a DC machine, this principle or this working is being done by the commutator assembly. The commutator assembly, it has segments, many number of segments which are being uh, touched by the brushes. The armature windings which is going to end in the commutator segment, it is going to give current if it is a DC motor and if it is a DC generator, it is going to collect the current. So this mechanical commutator operation, it is being replaced by electronic commutator which is nothing but it uses thyristor family for the same principle or for the same working. So what is a, D a mechanical commutator? So this is this will be your commutator segments. We have many number of segments which are being numbered 1, 2, 3, 4 etc. So this winding armature winding so it comes into contact or it is being connected with each segment and there are brushes which are going to connect the circuit to the external load. So this will be your positive brush. So this is your brush 1 and this will be your brush 2. So each and every commutator winding it is being connected to commutator segment and this commutator segment it is going to touch the brush. 
So what happens is that when the commutator segment touches the brushes, the armature winding which is being connected, if it is a DC generator, the created EMF and hence the current, it is going to uh, be collected to the external load circuit via the brushes. If it is a DC motor, we need excitation. So for that excitation, external current has to pass through the brush to the armature winding. So this is being the assembly or this is nothing but the mechanical commutator arrangement. This mechanical commutator arrangement, it is being converted into electronic commutator in the case of your PMBL DC motor. So what is this electro electronic commutator assembly? So just we have a glimpse of the diagram where you have the commutator assembly in the form of switches. So here also we have the armature winding. In the similar case, you have electronic switches. So these are the electronic switches, namely S1, S2, S3, etc. So this is S1, S2, S3, like this is go on. And here S1 dash, S2 dash, S3 dash, etc. So this armature winding, what happens is it is being replaced by your electronic switches. So So in this case what happens is the solid state switches namely your thyristor family uh, it may be a SCR, it may be a triac, it may be a diac whatever may be the electronic assembly this uh, switches it is going to be in a sequential manner controlled or by on, uh, making it on or making it off you can control the switching sequence of the commutator and from the armature winding the current which is being collected it is going to be given to the external circuit. So what is the advantage of this uh, electronic commutator assembly is that you do not have any field winding in the case of your motors. In the case of your conventional DC motor you have permanent man. Uh, you, do, you have electromagnets. In the electromagnets what will happen? You have field winding. Then you have to give excitation and you have to uh, maintain the machine. But in this case of electron, when you go for electronic commutator assembly, there is a advantage of the size is being reduced because you do not have a bit setup of commutator. Just you are going to use switches and maintenance free and moreover the efficiency of the machine is comparatively better than that of the conventional DC motors. So these are the things which are going to be uh, seen in the case of PMBL DC motor. So in the permanent magnet brushes DC motor here also you have stator as well as rotor. So in the stator you have stator slots which are in the inner periphery and in the inner periphery of the stator slots stator windings are being placed. This stator winding it will be uh, accommodated in the stator slot whereas the rotor slots it is being made out of permanent magnet which is being replaced by the electromagnet as set of your normal motors. So when you uh, when you are going to use permanent magnet the size and also the uh, operation of the machine is being improved. So what happens is the stator and rotor poles are nothing but they are same uh, in number. When you take the other machines sometimes we have dissimilarities. The number of rotor poles will be reduced than that of the stator poles or it will be unequal. In the case of PMBL DC motor, permanent magnet brushless DC motor, the number of stator and the number of rotor are same. So this is a case of PMBL DC motor. So what happens is whenever the rotor it is going to be uh, uh, that is it is an electromagnet the stator is there. So whenever you have excitation what happens is there is a uh, torque which is being created in the air gap which is found in the in between the stator and rotor and because of that the machine starts running. So what we are concentrating is that the functioning of the PMBL DC motor when compared to the conventional DC motors uh, the brushless uh, type. What is brushless type? That is electro co electronic commutators. When it is being used, the brushes are being avoided. So when the brushes are being avoided, there is no formation of sparks. There is no formation of, uh, that is the efficiency is somewhat improved and also maintenance is free. Okay. When compared to the efficiency, when the conventional DC motors are there, the permanent magnet brushless DC motors, the efficiency is better. So these are some of the differences and the unique features when compared to the brushless, uh, conventional DC motors. 
so here we are going to understand about the mechanical commutator assembly here you are having the brushes brush 1 brush 2 and here you are going to have the armature winding so what will happen is each and every segment they are being connected to the armature winding and what will happen is that through the brushes it will be given to the external circuit if it is a DC generator. If it is a DC motor the current from the external circuit for the excitation purpose via the brushes it will reach the commutator segment. So when you see there is a mechanical uh, touch or mechanical contact between the brush as well as the commutator segment. When it is going to rotate, when the armature is going to rotate, each and every segment it will take another position and it will be uh, sequentially shifted. So the brushes are always in the same position and the polarity of the external circuit is going to be positive and negative. So this external current flow in the uh, load circuit, it will be maintained positive and negative and as a result, you will be having a alternating input will be converting into a unidirectional output. So this is the working or this is the ultimate result when you go for a commutator setup. So this being used in your normal conventional DC motors. So when you have this uh, type of arrangement, what will happen is this uh, mechanical wear and tear of the machine, it is very much high. And also when the commutator segment doesn't uh, going to suit or doesn't going to uh, go to the next position, sparks will be arise from the brush to the commutator segment. So this is a hazardous thing and this is also uh, if it is not going to be controlled, it will lead to electrical shock and it will lead to mechanical failure. So all these things are being overcome when we replace the uh, commutator assembly with the help of switches. So these switches what will happen is here each and every segment it is being connected to S1, S1 dash, S2, S2 dash, S3, S3 dash like the different switches. So when you are going to sequentially on and off with the help of power electronic control circuits you will be able to maintain a positive and negative supply in the external uh, load circuit with the help of this assembly. So this, is, this setup is called as electronic commutator. So this diagram it explains about the electronic commutator and this diagram the second one it explains about the mechanical commutator. So hence in your special machine and the two PMBL DC motor we will be using the electronic commutator assembly. So in the PMBL DC motor we are replacing the mechanical commutator with the help of your electronic commutator assembly and also additionally you are having rotor setup with the help of permanent magnets. So when permanent magnets and brushless operation they combine it makes the motor a special unique machine for its operation. So where and all you are you're going to have a brushless operation there you will have the application of this special machine. For example, in the case of the uh, fans, in the case of industrial motors and in the case of other day-to-day -day life activity motors, this PMBL DC motors are normally utilized.